Welcome back to Online Cubase Tutorials. This is Jeff, and I'm about to uh, put some automation on to the base track that we sent through a group, uh, sorry, an FX channel with a delay on it. Um, I'm gonna, what I want to do is I want to put some filter cutoff automation. So let's see if, <clears throat> excuse me, if we're playing, playing around with this filter, if it sounds like it sounded before when I was messing with it. Um, when before when we had the delay on the retrolog synth internally see how cool that is so typically what I'll do in this case is uh, create um, let's see if we scroll up here we've got our hat and our kick up here and I have the drums muted right now, but if you remember, I made um, an eight measure intro to this uh, track here. And so we're already working at, at measure nine. And what I wanna do is scroll back a little bit and I'm gonna make an instance copy of this part with remember the equal sign, I'm doing an alt shift drag to create an instance part that's the exact same copy as the original. And now what we can do is we'll go ahead and work on these four bars together as one group. And what I can do is hit, hit play. I can unmute the drums. Um, and we're not, we're still not hearing the snare. All right. We're still not hearing this percussion. And what we can do for this uh, automation now is set this to read and write automation. And I'm just going to watch this loop. Three, four, two, three, four. Alright, so that was pretty cool. Now you can see right here, it's pretty easy to see the automation that just got recorded with me dragging this knob with the mouse while it was playing and recording. I was uh, right automation. Now if I un check on right and it's just going to read that automation so you can turn this on and off and now you have the ability to work with that uh, path that got created for the automation just with the tools and the same things apply here you can turn snap off and you can make this uh, you know a ramp here you can make it a curve you can drag this point back and this is going to create uh, some pretty pretty cool echo effects. Check this out. All right, that's too long. I just want this to be, I want this to come right up, right at the beginning. Let's see how that sounds. All right, a little bit too soon. Let's just try that. I think just one count is all it needs. Try that. That's pretty cool. Let's do the same kind of a thing here. I'm going to take the point here, make it a little ramp, immediately shut off, and then maybe we'll, um, you can hit click on that, that note, the, sorry, the little uh, point, and turn it off. And maybe, maybe this will come out, uh, maybe we'll sit here and this one will go here like this. Let's see what that sounds like. That's pretty cool. I think what I want to do is actually switch this up. I want to have it so that the triangle is here. 
and this part is down here. So let me show you how to, you can, you can actually select this and you want to select just the dots. You don't want the, the MIDI part. You come over here and you hit paste. And now we got another triangle there. And then I can delete this. Just select it and delete. And there's two overlapping points there. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to do the same thing with this. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to put this actually uh, right at eight and a half bars and see what that does. It's so it's not not exactly there yet let's try starting out with that ramp i'm going to put this back on snap Oops. the double click will start playback let me take this part kind of like I kind of like that on the the third count of the measure a little bit better so another thing to point out about this snap tool is it snaps to bar but in this case I want to snap to beat so now it'll snap to the third beat and now you can see I basically have two copies of the same automation <laughs> I think actually I want to move this um, from there. Let's try it on the second beat and remove this guy and this guy. Same thing. I want to copy that. I want to put that on the second beat and delete these two points. Let's try that. <laughs> It's a little bit too abrupt, I think. I want to take snap off. I want to move this point out just a hair. Let's see if that's any better. Ah, there's an extra point there. Let's see how that sounds. I think what I want to do also is I want to move this down a little bit so there's just a little bit less cut off on that second time through. And I want this and this to be moved. Oh, I guess I can't do that. A little bit uh, faster. Um, decay on that on that cutoff all right that's pretty cool and I still I'm still not liking this perk sound let's listen without that that sounds pretty good so now you know how to record uh, automation of a, a cutoff parameter on a Retrolog or any other VST that supports um, these, these parameters here um, within Cubase and have an automation channel that you can control. And uh, you can edit that later. I'm going to hit save. And on the next one, I think um, we'll learn how to make a swell. It's one of the, the hallmarks of electronic dance music is that that swell every beat that uh, drives the music volume. Um, if you don't know what I'm referring to, it will make sense after the next video. Stay tuned.